The question is, are people turning others away from God with sex? And my answer is, and this is my opinion, yes. I'm going to read 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 1 to 2. It says, Now for the matters you wrote about, it is good for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman. But since sexual immorality is occurring, each man should have sexual relations with his own wife and each woman with her own husband. I don't believe that these scriptures are saying that it is bad to have sex. It is just bad to have sex in the outside of the context in which God created it, which was in marriage. I'm going to read now uh, Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. That scripture is why I believe that the above scripture was not saying that sex was bad. <clears throat> I'm also going to read Genesis chapter 1 verses 27 to 28. It says, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. When I was having sex, I was not trying to be fruitful at all. And the only thing that I was trying to increase was my pleasure. I had sex while I was married and I had sex while I was single. And when I was single, no, I did not go back to anybody that I was married to and have sex with them. My encouraging scripture is going to be in Deuteronomy chapter 13, verses 6 to 10. And I know that this scripture is not going to sound encouraging. It is a scripture that I just want people to think about and to Think more about God and how he sees things versus how we as people see things. Because even in my own life and even in my own history, uh, there were things that I did not look at the way I should have looked at. And the scripture that I'm about to read, had I looked at it the way I should have looked at it, um, I probably hopefully would have been uh, different in the choices that I made. Um, but Anyway, I'll read the scripture so you can think about it. So again, this is just something to think about, and this is something that I wish I would have thought about. All right, it says, If your very own brother or your son or daughter or the wife you love or your closest friend secretly entices you, saying, let us worship other gods, gods that neither you nor your ancestors have known, gods of the peoples around you, whether near or far, from one end of the land to the other. Do not yield to them or listen to them. Show them no pity. Do not spare them or shield them. You must certainly put them to death. Your hand must be the first in putting them to death and then the hands of all the people. Stone them to death because they try to turn you away from the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt and out of the land of slavery. 